Hello, everybody. My name is Barry Johnson. I'd like to welcome you back to another edition of Studio Talk. Is Apple intentionally delaying their release of support of Apple Silicon? Let's get to it. If you notice something, there's a few things in the background I'm going to talk about real quickly. I'm in my process of transitioning away from uh, Avid uh, over into uh, other parts of the world to be uh, fully disclosed later. But there's a couple of additions that I've already begun making uh, to my to my future studio layout as far as my Avid slash DigiDesign products. Also, I got one new piece of gear that I'm going to be doing a review on here shortly that they sent to me from Stam Audio. But if you notice in the background back there, yeah, there's a... Let me get out of so you can focus. See that UF-8 back there? And then also, this just got sent to me. I unboxed it a little bit earlier, but I'll be doing a review on this shortly. And it is Stam Audio's five, whoop, sorry, 500 series um, bus compressor. Okay, the SSL bus compressor clone. And so they got a, they've, they've got version one and version two, I believe, and then rack mount. Uh, this is version two in the 500 series. So I'll be putting that through its works over the coming week, and we'll do a video on that here pretty soon. Okay. So back to my point, Apple, um, Apple Silicon support by uh, Avid and Pro Tools, right? I mean, come on. I want you to think about the craziness of this for a second. You know, if you watch my channel, you know I'm no fan of Avid anymore. I love their products. Absolutely love Pro Tools. Love the products. Been working in it for decades. But I'm, I'm done with it because I'm tired of this extortion nonsense and this whole subscription nonsense. And if you want to go flush your money down the drain, go knock yourself out. You want to kid yourself thinking you've got some superior DAW, go knock yourself out, brothers and sisters. If there's anything I've learned, a human being can convince themselves of anything they want if they want to bad enough. And it becomes their truth, their truth, your truth. There is no such thing as your truth or my truth. There's simply truth. It's as simple as that. Well, at least on things that should be black and white for most of us. But anyway, okay. So, you know, think of the irony behind having to shell out all this money, either monthly or annually over these last, what seems like the last decade with the extortion nonsense. I don't think it's been going on that long, but long, too long, too freaking long. And you got nothing for it. You got nothing for it. So in comes Apple Silicon. I mean, a tremendous, for those of us on Mac, now you Windows users don't get into the whole Mac hating stuff. Just move on if you're going to do that crap. I'm not going to bash Windows. I love, I don't love Windows, but Windows is perfectly fine for DAW work. It's, there's really no difference. These days it's just preference. But anyway, for those of us on the Mac ecosystem, Apple Silicon really changed everything. I've got many videos out there demonstrating the capabilities of the MacBook Air, as well as the M1 Pro MacBook Pro, and then as well as the Mac Studio Ultra. So I've done kind of all of those. I'm still working on the Ultra, deciding whether I'm going to keep it. And odds are I'm not, but more of that later. Um, but, 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 you know, Apple Silicon was exciting for all of us. It really, what it really did for most people uh, is open up the door to get in, to be able to do serious DAW work for a reasonable cost, for a reasonable investment. I mean, you can do a lot with a Mac Mini and our MacBook Air. You can do a lot. Are you going to do tons and tons? No, but for the average user out there, that is more than sufficient. And both of those are under a grand, okay, as far as the entry level. Now, you may want to bump up your um, your hard drive. You definitely want to pay the extra for the hard drive and probably get yourself up to 16 gigabyte of RAM. But yeah, that's going to be a few extra dollars. But hey, a computer is a long-term investment or should be for most of us, okay? So... Apple Silicon came out, gosh, almost two years ago, almost two years ago. Now, shouldn't the company that charges you more than any other company, the company that promises you they're going to bring you updates and support better than everyone else, and they're literally the last one out there, the last man standing. I mean, save for probably uh, Cubase and Nuendo, but come on, they have always been geared towards Windows computers for the last 20 years or so, okay? They didn't start out that way, but that's where they've been geared for a long time. So their focus is, I would imagine, not as much there, although they should be working on it, okay? And so 
Evan is dead last. I mean, dead freaking last. That ha- At this point, I'm sorry, that has to be intentional. They're trying to make this transition right now between perpetual and eliminating that and going to all subscription, forcing you idiots, you crazy people, you people that are making get the very least bad judgment calls according to me, but you can ignore me. I don't really care. Uh, but but I think that's flushing down the drain. But they're they're spent make having you spend all this money, all this money, and you ain't getting jack for it. I know a ton of you Pro Tools users have gone out and bought new Apple Silicon. If you go over to the DUC over at Gear Sluts, you're going to hear complaint after complaint after complaint. This is ridiculous at this stage. So again, why? They're forcing people off of Perpetual and to support. You cannot buy Perpetual anymore unless you find new old stock out there somewhere, but that is going away. Okay, if you have an existing plan, yes, you can keep that going, but once you let that lapse, you know, anyway, different story. But, but regardless of all of that, They're also trying to do some funky, wanky stuff with their DSP. They've got the Carbon coming out, right, which has HDX performance in it for being able to to have zero latency while you're tracking. Okay, if you've got an older computer, that's beneficial. You really don't even need it if you've got Apple Silicon. I got a Carbon right over there, and I never use the DSP on it, but I also got an army unit I just got in over there that's going to be replacing it. More about that soon. (laughs) So anyway... um, so, you know, you, you, you've, got, you, you've got all this change happening right now. And what, what, what would happen to Avid's supposed carbon sales and supposed HDX sales going forward? It's very clear to me at this point, HDX slash ultimate, whatever the crap they want to call it this day, however ridiculous spin they want to put on it today, that's geared towards post at this point. Yes, some people in studios can utilize it and take advantage of it, but it's definitely marketed at this point and geared towards post, okay? So if you can do all of this work in the audio world and not need any of that, you wouldn't buy it. You wouldn't spend your money on that carbon. You wouldn't spend your money on these other things, okay, on HDX and other things because you wouldn't need to, okay? The performance difference, as an example, and stressing out between Pro Tools, okay, the current most recent version of Pro Tools, which literally is the one just dropped a week or so ago, the most recent version, okay? Um, And and if you were to compare that to like Studio One, which is native, or Logic is native, and and duplicate the exact same session, they're miles apart in performance on the same freaking computer, same plugins. I wonder if that's calculated by Avid, who's clearly demonstrated to us that they could care less about providing a quality product. They could care less about providing a great user experience. They could care less about providing the actual tools that their customers need to use. All they can care about is how they can squeeze every little red cent Penny, whatever your currency is, wherever you live in the world, they want to suck it out of you and they want to suck it all out of you. And they want to keep you fooled into thinking you've got the best DAW out there. So therefore, you have to suck right along with them. There it is. I've said it and it is. Well, maybe it's not that. I think it is, okay? I think it is. I think they're intentionally delaying support. It would not surprise me. I'm going to go on record and make an official prediction now. And if you've noticed, just about every one of my predictions so far has come through. I predicted UAD would go native, and they did. I predicted UAD would go subscription, and they did. I predicted Avid would go subscription only, and they did. Okay. Now, do I have a crystal ball? Am I this some geeko, whatever, blah, 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 that knows everything? Of course not. Of course not. Of course not. I, 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 like you, probably just see the writing on the wall. I mean, this ain't freaking rocket science. It's kind of common sense. Okay. And anybody who's run any level of business at all understands these fundamental principles. Okay. I'm willing to go on record and predict that we will not see silicon sort uh, support in 22. And I'm willing to go on record, we won't see it sooner than the third quarter of 2023. Now, let's see if I'm right about that. I hope Avid proves me wrong on that. For one reason only, for all you users out there that are using it. Because here in a couple of weeks, this boy right here, the only reason I will ever pull up Pro Tools ever again, ever, ever, ever again, okay, will be because I have to pull up old sessions. That will be the only reason, and that's rare that that'll happen, okay? But 
I have to keep it around just for that purpose and that purpose alone, all right? And to put things into perspective, if you've not watched my channel, I've been a Pro Tools HD slash HDX user for well over two decades, okay? Well over two decades. I've invested a tremendous amount of my time and effort into helping other people solve their Pro Tools issues and their HD slash HDX issues over those decades. I've been very active at the DUC over there well before any thought of this freaking YouTube channel ever, ever came out, okay? And I've always loved their products, but I'm at a point right now I refuse to do business with such a despicable company as Avid, and they're sucking you out of every penny you've got, and they're sucking you dry. You can believe that or you cannot, but that's the way it is, okay? There's no excuse for you not having Apple Silicon support and being able to do way more work, okay, on your computer than you're able to today. All right, so put some pressure on Avid. If you like the things I talk about on this channel, do me a favor, it's not always Avid related, okay? But when certain things change, I give, when I come up with different ideas and perspectives, I'm gonna put out videos. If you get tired of seeing a few videos on Avid, then just skip them and go on to something else. If you think you can get value, then watch them, okay? Like I said before, I'm gonna be doing a lot of discussion about that UF8. Uh, I, so far, I really, really, really like it going so far, but there are some things that, Hey, it ain't got what that D command's got back there. I'll tell you that, faux show, faux show. It's 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 short a lot of things, but then again, it's restricted by the Mackie uh, MCU protocol. So there is that. All right. Uh, also got that Sam audio. Going to be doing a review of that coming up. I've also got some more videos coming out about stress testing the Mac Studio Ultra. Those are going to be coming out. Got a lot of other things in the works right now. Uh, I got a lot of acoustic audio plugins to go through. I have some and more analysis to go on on um, Universal Audio's Waves, uh, Waves, fucking Universal Audio's Spark plugins uh, and really testing those out about against their comparison. So I got a lot to do, guys. I got a lot to do. So this is not all about complaining about a company. There's a lot of things out there to help you guys make informed decisions. But when I've got things to talk about, I'm going to talk about them. So again, if you like the things I talk about on this channel, hit that like button, that subscribe button, and then that notification bell. So you know I got new videos out. I got a lot of videos out. Most of them are meant to be timeless. Again, they're not all like this. Most of them out there to be able to help you and have the same impact today as they will 10 years from now, okay? Um, but anyway, I appreciate your support. Leave some comments down below. Tell me what you think. That stuff's really important, okay? Until next time, I hope all of you have a, a great day. Goodbye.